92% of honeys are running around UCLA going, sex or class, what shall I do? 92% G. <laughs> Today we are talking about 1998's Can't Hardly Wait. I can't hardly wait to talk about this movie. This film is about a big rager of a party that happens after graduation and we followed the four storylines of Amanda Beckett, Preston Myers, the nerd, Charlie Corsmo, I don't remember his character's name, and then, oh, Jock. And, uh, Seth Green, Kenny, Kenny Fisher, and then the ginger chick. So, six storylines that all mingle at this party. But primarily, Preston is our main concern and his mad love for Amanda Beckett. First of all, it's everything great about the 90s and everything great about being a high school graduate because. We have, from the 90s, the wardrobe and the manner of speaking and just doing things. And like, the 90s was a very delicate time. It was like, hipsters pre-hipster. Kids in the 90s talked very pretentiously, but n like, to sound mature, not to sound like douchebags. And we definitely see that in this movie, just the way people spoke in the 90s is is just so much fun. Not to mention the clothes. Um, the ginger girl, whose name I can't remember right now, uh, is definitely gave me insight into where my sister got her inspiration for 95% of her outfits. And then we have all the wonders of being a like brand new high school graduate. This movie is beautiful because it definitely captures that teen spirit of just like joy and it's just fun it is just so much fun like you're watching this and you're like I want to be at this party it's a freaking blast the writing is flawless it is just so spot-on whoever wrote this movie definitely captured like every sort of facet of every social group and what it's like to be any one of them like you know we have like the, the weird kids with Preston and Denise then there's like, you know, the popular sportos and cheerleaders. Then there's like the wankers, the like, you know, white kids that wish they were living the thug life. And then there's like kids in band and just party girls and then the nerds and it's all just everybody is perfectly captured in this movie. It was a glorious compilation of just every sort of social group you could imagine. The stoners, they're all perfect. The cast of this movie is 100% flawless on every single level. Like, obviously they had their teen idol, Jennifer Love Hewitt, who is just in her prime, most definitely. Then there's Ethan Embry, who plays just a perfect, like, lovable goofball, serious, true romantic. And then there's Seth Green, who is just like... <sighs> he's definitely great at being ridiculous, and he is in this movie. And then there's, like, the girl who plays Denise, and Denise is perfect. And then there's all these little, like, fun cameos. You got Brecken Meyer, and the guy who played Turk, and then the guy who was in the OC as the guy Teresa was gonna marry. Jason Siegel, my personal favorite cameo, Jenna Elfman as just a flawless creature, and then there's Charlie Corsmo, who this was his last movie and it was perfect, he did it so well, he was just so freaking hilarious. I mean, there's nothing really truly remarkable about this movie, again, it's just a primarily dialogue based thing. like. The words are everything, and the language is everything. It is so much fun. That's like the only way I can describe it. It is just a genuinely fun movie. There's a shit ton of Barry Manilow. They had put a fart machine into my sleeping bag. 